<laughs> okay, cool. I can see that it's recording now, Paula. What's up, man? Yeah. Cool. Wicked. Looks like you're recording then. Ready to go? Okay, great. So, welcome everyone. Um, I wrote this session and realized that it's going to be quite hard. So, I want you to just push yourselves and do the hardest version of all the exercises that you can. Um, it's going to be a mixture of shadow boxing and then kind of fitness based drill exercises. And they're going to be alternating between them. So, um, for the first little bit after we do the warm up, it'll just be um, one round of shadow boxing, one round of some kind of exercise, one round of shadow boxing, one round of exercise, blah, blah, blah. Um, so with all of those, that's just doing as many as you can in the set time. So just do push yourself, as I said, uh, do as many as you can um, and the hardest version you can. And as we kind of go through, there's a little cardio burnout round. And then there's also to finish with the dreaded pyramids. But um, if you're not sure what any of these are, don't worry, all will be explained. So let's crack on and do a warm up to just start off with. So we're just gonna warm up our joints to start off with. So start getting mobile, moving your wrists. Both ways. Nice big helicopter elbows. Both ways. Big arm circles. And both ways. Gentle neck rotations. Rolling those shoulders. Both ways. Hands on hips, nice big rotations on the hips. Changing directions, side to side. Back to the center, forward and back, hinging at the waist. Back to that center, we're gonna twist our body, touch opposite toe, opposite hand. From here, hands on knees, rotating, and other way. Last one, we're gonna rotate our ankles either like this or on the floor, both ways, both feet. All right, have a nice big shake. Get nice and loose. Now I'm going to jog on the spot. Going to pick up the heart rate by every other bounce. I'm going to bring up a knee. I'm going to up it a little bit, so every time you want you to crunch across your body, touch opposite elbow to opposite knee. After that, jogging on the spot, punching straight out front. Try and keep your technique nice and precise. Straight arms, turn the wrists over, and punching above your head. Out in front again. Down to the floor. Out in front.
and relax back to that jog. We're going to go straight into a star jump. Bringing the arms up in front and out to the side. Back to that jog. I'm going to shout a few commands and we just listen for them, try and react as fast as you can. Jump. Chest to the floor. Left hand down. Right hand down. Both hands down. Right hand down. Left hand down. Jump. Back to the floor. All right, give me a sprint for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Back to that jog. Left hand down. Both hands down. Chest down. Both hands down. Try and keep this as fast as you can, guys. Right hand down. And if you can't do jumps, just try with a, a calf raise or something similar. Both hands down, jump. Okay, another sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to that jog. Okay, we're going to go into a little dynamic stretch. So I'd like you to sweep down. And as you do, you're going to extend your front leg, toe pointing towards the ceiling, stretching out the hamstring. Keep breathing. Do the Mexican wave. <laughs> Okay, from a standing position, I want you to kick your leg out 10 times each side, try and keep it as straight as you can. Once you've done 10, swap sides. Once you've done that, opening and shutting the gate. Just open up that hip joint. All right, from here, nice big uh, torso rotations. Try and keep the hips still. From here, every time we go back, we're going to extend an arm. Back to the center. Big arm stretches, opposite directions. Try and get them nice and far behind your head. Back to the center, out in front, opening and closing. Try and get your arms as far behind you as you can. Maximize that stretch to the chest. And relax. Back on the toes. All right, give me some star jumps. Arms coming out in front as well.
Back to the jog, punching out in front. Punching to the floor. Punching to the ceiling. Both hands down. Punching straight out. Jump. Left hand down. Right hand down. Chest down. Okay, sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to that jog. And sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to normal. One more of those. And sprint. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Okay. Can you all hear me? You're, yeah, good. <laughs> um, lovely. Great. So grab a quick drink if you need it, and we're going to jump straight in. So for those of you who are new to martial arts and boxing, so I think we've got the pleasure of being joined with some new people tonight. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do some shadow boxing and exercises. We're going to alternate. And when I say shadow boxing, just in case you're not sure what I mean by that, I just mean I want you to imagine you've got an opponent and we're going to throw some punches. We're going to use our feet. We're going to use our defenses. And we're basically going to simulate imaginarily um, a sparring or fight situation. So I'm going to give you a scenario or a drill to, to do. I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'm going to get you to do it. So each round is going to be two minutes and we are going to do one of everything once. So the first round, I just want you to be doing jab only. I want you to shadow box, just focusing on the jab. I want you to move your head, I want you to move your feet. I want you to imagine that your opponent is throwing shots back at you. So I want you to defend properly. That means slips, uh, rolls, it means ducks, it means laybacks, it means step outs, all of the things that you know how to do um, and more. <laughs> so yeah, focusing on the jab and focusing on our footwork and defenses. Everyone ready to go? I'm going to set the timer off uh, and we're going to go now. Another thing, just try and make those punches realistic, nice and snappy, nice and quick. Um, really commit to them, fully extend, uh, head and body.
a time. Well done. Okay, quick breather. Um, so the next, kind of the format of this is going to be we do one round of shadow boxing for two minutes, then we're going to do two 30 second rounds of an exercise. So the first exercise are going to be push-ups. And for all of these, I want you to do the hardest version that you can. I want you to stick to whichever version you choose. And I want you to do as many as you can in the time. So you've got 30 seconds. I don't mind if you can do two in 30 seconds or if you can do 20 in 30 seconds. Just want you to do as many as you possibly can. And then for the second interval, the second 30 seconds, I want you to try and beat your first total. Okay, so if you do 18 in the first one, I want you to try and do 19 or more in the second. Okay, we're gonna go. So with press ups, just try and wiggle you down. I want a straight line. So your bum isn't bowed and it's not in the air. I want it nice and straight. You're gonna look straight ahead of you. You're gonna go, <laughs> try not to head butt the sofa. Look straight ahead all the way down and all the way up. If that's off your toes, that's fine too. All the way down, all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna set off the timer. Remember, you're doing as many as you can, the hardest version that you can. Down into your press up position. Everybody ready? Let's go. Okay, so I hope you all uh, kept account of how many you did. This time I want you to do better, so do more this time. Push yourself a little bit harder, try and get one more rep out, more reps out. Okay, we're gonna go again in three, two, one, off we go. Okay, great. Well done. I hope you will uh, manage to beat yourself the second time around. This time I'm going to go back to shadow boxing. Um, this time I want you to just use any straight shot, head or body. Again, you're focusing on your movement, your footwork and your defenses as well. So that can include the jab as we we're just doing. So coming from your guard position, comes out nice and straight. Shoulder protects yourself. Um, as you throw the shot, full extension on the arm, other hand protects your face, wrist is turned over, palm facing down. Come straight back, jab, and backhand. With the backhand, focus on your hip rotation, make sure you're really following through, the shot is fully extended, and the wrist turns over just at the last moment. Um, with all of those, head and body, all the defenses, we're gonna go in, as soon as my phone unlocks itself, three, two, one, off we go.
Okie dokes. Okay, so we're going to go back to another one of those 30 second interval twice through. Um, this time, we're going to be doing the opposite. So we're going to do a reverse press up, um, which looks a little bit like this. Hopefully you can see me on the floor there. So what we're essentially doing is lying on our back and we're pushing with the backs of our arms off the floor. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with this. So on your bum on the floor, you're going to push using just your arms and your upper back off the floor and relax it so up, down. You need to get your whole upper back off the floor and your lower back as well. So this is um, using the different muscles, like the antagonist for um, the push up. So everybody in position, same deal as last time. I want you to do as many as you can in the round and then try and beat yourself the second time. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one, now. Time. Okay, so another thing I should have said for this is try to use your abs and your core as little as possible. So I'm going to try and use your upper back and shoulders as much as you can. Okay, ready to go again in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Time. Okay, well done. So we're going to go into the first one of our uh, drills now. So I would like you to please, during your next round of shadow boxing, um, incorporate the following drill. So it starts with a straight one, two. So we're going to go. Jab, backhand, we're gonna lay back, so the weight goes from the front. You put your weight onto the back leg, you extend the front leg, hands are still protecting you. Lay back, come back with the backhand, so you put your weight on the back leg, which means it's a perfect prime position to then drive with the rear hand. Then a lead hook, and another right hand, or another backhand, sorry. So one, two, lay back, backhand, hook, backhand. So five shots with one defense in the middle. One, jab, backhand, lay back, backhand, hook, backhand. Does anyone need me to do that again? No? I'm seeing lots of good thumbs up. Wonderful. I've lost my timer. Okie dokie. We're going to go in three, two, one. Off we go. Right. 
Try to make sure your technique is nice and tight. Keep hold of that stance. Focusing on the hip rotation when you're throwing that backhand and the hook. Moving off every time you throw in the combination. Time, well done. Okie dokes. Um, where am I? Oop. Um, okay, so the next one um, is going to be stomach curls. So we're back on the floor for this one. Um, if you have a mat, this might be time to use it, but it shouldn't be too difficult if you don't have one. So what we're gonna do, we're going to sit on our tailbone. We're going to start with our knees and hands nice and close. So I want you to have your hands, your fingers by your temples. Then you're going to lean back and extend the legs and then bring them back in together. So that's one. One, two, three, etc. So do as many of these as you can. And we're going to go in three, two, one, now. Time. Okay, we're going to go again in five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay, jumping back up for me. Wonderful, okay. So, next round of shadow boxing, I want you to use this combination. So it's a four shot combination. We're going to incorporate um, punches to the head and to the body. So this is to think about levels. Um, make sure when you throw those body shots, you're really bending your legs and driving through with the hip rotation. Okay, so we're going to throw a jab to the head, sit down, back hand to the body, then we're going to come back up, hook to the head, and finish it with a back hand to the body. So remember with the back hands, we're really driving 
rotating the hips, nice straight hands. Hands come back with the hook. We're imagining we've got a, like a, a pole going through our head. And we're gonna rotate around that axis. Because you're going from a kind of seated position from the body to the head, you're gonna to have to stand up and rotate at the same time. So you've gone jab to the head, sit down, back hand to the body, rotate and stand to get the hook to the head. Then you're in a nice position to throw the back hand to the body. So try and um, get to grips with where your weight is for this one. Um, slow it down and try and get the technique right. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Don't forget to move after every single one. Keep defending whilst you're not throwing the shots. Fine. Lovely, all right. So, next uh, core exercise, I want you to do as many of the following as you can. So we're gonna do back bows. For um, those who don't know what they are, I want you to lay flat on the floor, with your face facing downwards. You want to have hands by, fingers by your temples. What we're gonna do is try and use our back to raise the chest as far off the floor as you can, all the way back down, squeeze with the back muscles, get your chest off the floor and back down again. If you want to make it slightly harder, you can also um, add a, a leg squeeze in as well, but that is optional. I'm going to find my timer again. So with these are doing as many as you can in 30 seconds, down in the position, Gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. Time. Okay, remember how many did that time? Try and beat it next time. Gonna go again in five, four, three, two, one, off we go.
Time. Lovely. Back on our feet. Okay. Next shadow boxing drill I'd like you to do. We're going to start off with the double jab. So two straight jabs. Then we're going to throw the backhand. As we throw the backhand, I want you to slip. So we're going to shift our weight forwards and off the center as if you're throwing the backhand to the body. Then we're going to bring the lead hand up into a hook to the body, bring it back, reset, hook to the head. So in total, that looks like double jab, sit with the backhand, hook, hook. So you've got to really think about resetting your weight. If you're finding it difficult to do these, focus on just the double jab backhand. If you think you've mastered those, then we can add in the, the hook to the body, hook to the head. So the first two bits, really simple, double jab backhand, really simple, really effective combination. If you want to work just on that, that is absolutely fine. If you want to challenge yourself and move it up a little bit, double jab backhand, hook, hook. Make sure you're resetting between the two hooks so that you have enough momentum and uh, hip rotation to then drive that second hook in. Try not to make it an arm shot. Um, okay, is everyone, let me see if I can see people. Give me thumbs up if that's all right. Wonderful, okay, great. Um, okay, ready in three, two, one, off we go. Time. Okay, we're nearly done with this bit, promise. <laughs> so the next exercise I want you to do for 30 seconds is a narrow to wide squat. So you're gonna start off doing a narrow squat with your feet together, down, we're gonna hop up to the wide and back to the middle. So that's one, so narrow, wide is one, narrow, wide is two. Um, if you don't want to jump or you want to make it a little bit easier, you can just step. But just uh, pick one at the start and then I want you to stick to that. Okay. Everyone in their positions. We're gonna go in three, two, one, go.
Time. Okay, remember you're trying to beat the next, this, that time or that number of um, reps again this time. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. Time. Oof. So on the old legs, that one. Okay. Okay, last uh, drill for you, last combination. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw, this time we're gonna start with the jab to the body. So we're gonna sit down to start with, throw the jab to the body, so into the solar plexus. From here, we're gonna throw a long uppercut, or you might like to call that like a rear hook sort of hybrid. So jab to the body, long uppercut, stand up with a hook to the head, long rear hand. So with the long uppercut, the second shot, you're already sitting down, so you're going to need to drive um, with your, your hip, so the the rotation and the kind of standing is what gives you the power. So we've already sat down, our weight's on the back foot, the drive as we rotate, and for the hook, you're going to, like we did with the previous combination where we had to go head to body, um, we're gonna stand and we're gonna rotate at the same time. So slow it right down, try and focus on the technique. If you're finding that really difficult, um, we can just focus on either the jab and then the uppercut, or the hook and then the backhand. So with the hook and the backhand, the, the thing is, as with all of this, focusing on the hip uh, rotation. So with the backhand, again, we're gonna rotate with the, the hip, the rear hip, and the hand comes up nice and straight, back to, your hat, back to your face. With the hook, imagine you've got that pole going through your head, you're gonna rotate around it. With the uppercut, you're already in this position, rotate and stand. Then you're in a natural position to throw the hook afterwards if you're going to, and then the backhand. So all together, sit, jab, uppercut, hook, rear hand. Okay. Wonderful. Gonna go in three, two, one.
going. Okay, last set of exercises and then we have a little break. So this time I'm going to do lunges. If you want to make it harder, you can do jumping lunges. Um, we can count, doesn't matter how you count actually, because as long as you're consistent, it shouldn't make a difference. And um, remember you're trying to beat yourself in the second round. Um, okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds in three, two, one. All right, ready to go again in five, four, three, two, one. Time. Okay, grab a drink of water, have a quick break, do what you need to do, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're gonna be ready to go again in about 15 seconds. So make sure you're ready. Awesome, okay. So the next round is gonna be a cardio kind of burnout round. We're just gonna do three intervals of um, a kind of lower intensity part of the exercise and then I'm going to throw some sprints in. With the sprints, they're not going to last long, but I want you to give them everything you've got. So it might be 10 seconds, it might be five, but just really put your all into it. Um, the first one we're going to do is just going to be jogging on the spot, punching out in front. This is the low intensity one. And when I shout sprint, I want you to pick up the knees and sprint as fast as you can. Get those knees to hip height or higher if you can. Um, we're going to do that for two minutes and I'm going to shout sprint and then, you know, relax periodically. So listen out for that. What are we doing for two minutes, sorry? So we're jogging, punching out in front. And when I shout sprint, we're going to go high knees like we would in the warm up, but we're going to go more extreme because we're already warm. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Okay. Going in three, two, one. Sprint. 
I'm back to normal. And sprint. Back to normal. And sprint. Normal. And sprint. Relax. And relax. Sprint. Back to normal. And time, well done. Wicked, well done, okay. So the next one, after we've recovered, we're gonna be doing a wide sumo squat, so I want your legs nice and wide. We're gonna be doing all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna shout pulse. I want you to hold the seated position and just bounce, very small pulses in that position. Okay, so everybody in their position, nice wide legs. We're going to go in three, two, one. Try and keep a nice flat back, looking straight out ahead. Go as low as you can. And pulse. And back to normal. And pulse. And up again. Pulse. Back to normal. Pulse. Back to normal. Nearly there, guys. Pulse. Back to normal. Time, well done. Okay, we've got one more of those. This time, we're going from star jumps, or jumping jacks, into star bursts where what we're going to do, we're going to squat down and explode up. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna get ready to go in three, two, one, off we go. First. Up to the star jumps. Try to control your breathing when you're doing this one. And burst. Back to the jump. And burst. Back to the jump. Keep it up, guys. Doing great. And burst. The jumps. First. Jumps. And time. Woo! That one seemed to go on forever. <laughs> okay, I'll give you another little quick breather after that one. That was pretty intense. So the, the final thing is going to be a pyramid. And we have about 15 minutes to do it. So the concept of a pyramid is that you go, you have four exercises. You do each of them once, then you do each of them twice, then you do each of them three times, each of them four times, all the way up to 10, then you start going down again. So once you've done 10 of everything, you go nine of everything, eight of everything, seven of everything, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a star jump or a star burst first. So what we've just been doing, and then a pike, which is also called a V-sit, um, if you can't do this one, um, so the hardest version is to sit on your tailbone or like extend your entire body out flat, bring your legs and arms to meet each other in the middle, touch your toes, all the way back down, that's a V-sit or a pike. If you can't do that, just a leg raise with your head on the floor, that's fine. Try not to let your feet touch the floor, but if you're struggling, you can um, briefly raise the, uh, rest them on the floor. So that's the second exercise. The third one is going to be a squat thrust. So you're in your press up position and you're going to bring your knees in to your elbows and back out again. So try not to, like you would with a press up, try not to have your bum in the air or too close to the floor. You want it to be nice and level like you would have with a press up, in and out, like that. Then the final one is gonna be a squat jack. So we're in the squat position. Obviously, the lower you go, the harder it is. Legs go, feet go out and in once. That's one. Okay, so a recap is either star burst or star jump. Then we do a pike or whichever uh, version of that you're doing. Flip over, squat thrust, and then finally we're going to do the squat jack. So we're going to do each one once, then we're going to do each one twice, each one three times, blah, 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 all the way up to 10, um, and then all the way back down again. This is in your own time. So obviously the faster you do it, the more rest you have at the end. So it's up to you to figure out whether, how you want to pace yourselves. So push yourselves, go as hard as, hard as you can, do the hardest version of each exercise that you can, um, and see you on the other side. <laughs> okay, ready? We're going to go.
are we doing? Ones, then twos, then threes, then fours, then fives, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just making sure I was like, <laughs> don't worry, it's a lot. <laughs> Don't worry about going back down again. Once you're done, stay at 10. Trying to figure out if everyone's done or not. <laughs> that bails. Kills me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Yeah, no, I wrote that and realised that it was going to be pretty brutal. <laughs> too hot. It really. worked out that hard. So. <laughs> Amazing. Way too hot. <laughs> I know, I'm absolutely pouring a sweat, it's quite just <laughs> need a haircut as well, so I can't even take the hat off because I look atrocious. You need a handy house, mate. <laughs> <laughs> or two mirrors. I think I'm just going to take it off eventually. You'll have to at some point, you know. You've got to have a shower at some point. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, if we're all done, we're going to do a quick stretch because we just worked really, really hard and we want to cool down slowly, not get any injuries. So look after those bodies. Um, okay, so up on the feet, just walking around slowly. Just try and relax, get your breathing down a bit. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going to try not to cut my head off. Yeah, why not? Okay. I'm going to start from the neck and work down. So gentle neck circles first. Nice and slow. Make sure you go both ways. Once you've done that, looking to your left, looking to your right. Up a hook above. And down, back to the center, ear to shoulder, down the other side, back to the center, roll the shoulders, and the other way, take one arm across the chest, nice and straight, pull it towards you. And relax, other side. And relax. And take one arm up uh, over your shoulder. If you can hold uh, behind your back, that's great. Otherwise, you can just push down like this. Change sides. And relax. This time we're gonna lace our fingers together. You know, dip your head and round the shoulders. Soften the knees a little bit and just push out as far as you can. Tilt onto one side for a little extra stretch. And the other way. And relax. Behind your body now, lacing the fingers together again. This time you're going to push out your arms as uh, straight as you can and get them as high as you can. That should stretch out your chest.
and relax. Hands on the hips, we're going to have nice big circles like we did in the warm up. And the other way. That's it, nice. Right feet together. We're going to do a deep breath in, reaching up above. And as we exhale, we're going to try and touch our toes. And do the same again, this time try and go a little bit further. Okay, great. Nice big step out in front this time. I want your weight on the front of the leg, rear heels off the floor, stretching out this front of the hip. And change sides. Back to the center. Big step out to one side. Lean on one side. And change sides. Okay, back to the center. Hold on to one ankle, try and bring your knees together. Push this hip forwards. You should feel that more in your quad, in the front of the thigh if you do. And change sides. Relax, um, okay, then we're going to sit down. Feet outstretched. Take one knee and it's, uh, bend it. We're going to take it the side of outside the other leg. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Going to twist away from you and look behind you. From this position, you're going to keep your legs where they are. You're going to lie back and you're going to roll that bent leg across your body. Look in the opposite direction. Try and keep both shoulders on the floor. From here, keep the legs in the same position. You're going to bend that straight leg, reach through your legs and pull your shin towards you. You should feel that in your glute, in your bum. And relax. So I'm going to do that all again on the other side. So sitting up, both legs extended. Bend that other leg this time. Put it across your, the other side. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Look behind. So I'm going to lean back and roll that knee across our body. Keep both shoulders on the floor. Last one again. Reaching through the legs. Pull that shin towards you. And relax, sitting back up, or standing back up rather. Do one last wiggle on the ankles. Make sure you get both sides. One last wiggle on the wrists. Going both ways. Do a good last shake. And you're done.